Trag nur ein Code Game Power, doch das macht mich nicht zum Rapper. Das gibt mir nur die Pressure und so ein Vielfaches besser. In this lecture, we are going to install Windows 10 as a virtual machine over our Oracle Virtual Box. So I have downloaded the Windows 10 ISO from the Windows site. And if you are not having that, you can search for Windows 10 download or something similar to that. And then go to www.microsoft.com and it will give you the Windows disk ISO file. So this is download the tool now you can download the installation media of windows 10 from here i have already downloaded it so i will go directly to the virtual box so inside our virtual box open the virtual box so inside the virtual box we have to add a new virtual machine so i'm going to click on new and then this will be windows 10 so i'm going with w10 so it automatically detects that it is going to be windows 10 so it is Microsoft Windows and the path is same as the virtual box VMs. Click next. The rest of the things it will be as similar as we have done in the case of Kali Linux. We have to make adjustments over the memory and hard disk in here. So we are going to allot 4096 that much RAM is enough. And then create a virtual hard disk now same as before. VDI same as before. Click next and then dynamically allocated select this and then next this is the vdi in linux we chose 10 gbs or something like 10.96 gbs and that was fine but for windows we have to choose more so i'm going with uh, around 84 gbs i'm going more than 60 gbs because windows require extensive hard disk memory so we have 84.58 nearly around 85 gbs so click create and then once it has been created now go click over this select this windows and then settings same as before go to advanced bi-directional so that we can copy paste from both of our host and virtual machines as well all fine go to system base memory stay in the green light and then this is the boot order hardware clock and utc time i don't need that processor processor was 4 acceleration not needed display i'm going fast because we have done this before screen this is 128 mb already enable 3d acceleration now i prefer enable 3d acceleration and then i drag it from 128 to 256 mb so this is enable 3d acceleration in case of windows remote display i don't need that recording i'm fine storage this is the storage this is w10 vdi okay so now click on this choose a disk file or you can click on this cd and then choose a disk file so i prefer click on this cd choose on disk file the second option and then i have already downloaded windows 10 64 bits and then this is the 2021 march edition so this is the latest one windows 10 64 bit at the time of recording this video so i'm going to select this and then it has been selected audio it is fine networks fine rest of the things we don't care about so this is general click on ok and once you have selected this you can double click over here so now it starts up so this is virtual of this of ok kali linux we are going to get into pc so by the way i have downloaded this windows from getintopc.com you can find everything from there getintopc.com so start let's start a windows virtual machine installation without errors okay now this will take some time come on windows beat up linux i know you can't but please So it has been started and it says language installation United States time and currency okay keyboard input method okay click on next I'm going to maximize it so you can see it better. So this is the installation install now 
click on the install now the setup is starting and now it will take time okay it takes no time windows 10 home std 64 and then 11 what is this std std is for standard installation for those with own license key olm will automatically activation or original equipment so let's try with oem windows 10 pro std windows 10 pro education standard like installation for those with license key i don't have a license key because i have downloaded it from get into pc so we are going with windows 10 std let's see what this have to offer us and then i accept all the license terms next this is drive zero unallocated space okay i'm going to partition just one 84.6 gigs of this hard disk next and then it is copying files and then it is getting files ready for installation and then it will install the features install the updates and then it will finally finish up and it is going to take a lot of time so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to skip to that part of the video where it will prompt me to do something again So now it asks for the account. So I already have an account on Microsoft. So this is my account. Next password. Click next. And then let's wait. create a pin now let's create a pin super security needed now this is my pin confirm the pin okay now what more just a moment location i don't want your location diagnose data no find my device no advertising id Tailored experiences, yes, except just a moment and then skip all of these and then skip for now. Next, that's why people prefer Linux. I'm getting it. No thanks. Not now. And then the final showcase. And finally, it has been installed. So this is our Windows. Press the Control and F host key. Now it should go full screen. When why it is not? Because we have to add something now go to devices this is devices on the left of help and on the right of input devices and then click on insert case editions cd image click on the last option nothing happens but you go to the files or the, this pc whatever suits you you go to this pc and this is cd drive virtual boss get as guest editions double click on that and then this is we v, vbox windows editions double click on that and yes let's install this click next then next install and then it is installing additional packages so that is me Welcome, let's see, is the error gone or now? Come on, welcome me fast. Okay, press the control, hit the F, hold down the host, that is control, and press F, that is full screen, and control the end, press again, that is minimized, okay, that is working, 
control F, control that. And you see this is our windows. So this is our virtual machine. So now in our virtual box, we have two virtual machines. One is Kali Linux and one is Windows 10. So in the next lecture, I will show you how to install GNS3, which is a kind of simulator, a network simulator where you can simulate networks, traffic, networking devices, etc. into your networking PCs. I'll see you there. Thank you.